Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be playing with some new makeup. Uh, I actually just received the new RMS. Uh, these are their Redimension Hydra Powder Blushes. I just received these in PR yesterday. I posted a picture of them on my Instagram and my DMs blew up. Everyone wants to see swatches of these and wants to know my thoughts on them. So I figured we would kind of do a full-ish face of RMS Beauty. I don't have an entire face. I actually thought I had more, but I think I decluttered a lot of it when I moved. So as we go through, I'll kind of explain what products I decluttered, why, things like that. But I've got a good amount of products and I thought we'd just put them on my face. I am actually getting ready for work today. So I figured we would just do a full face of RMS Beauty and I'm gonna be wearing it all day to work. So anyway, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. I've got a hot cup of coffee and let's go and get into it. All right, so Texas decided to be doom and gloom again. So I'm sorry for the lighting, hopefully it's okay. Um, but yeah, just trying to make it work. So I'm gonna scoot y'all in actually a little bit. All right, so hopefully that's a little bit better. Okay, so I actually have their new primer. Um, it's relatively new. This is the Re-Evolve Radiance Locking Primer. I've never tried this and I'm really interested in it. I don't wear primer. I find that just a good moisturizer for my skin type works great. I don't need that extra step, but I figured we'd go and try this out today. So it's the same packaging as their foundation. Um, I'm pretty sure this is refillable. And yeah, so I want to show you what this looks like. So it just kind of feels like a lightweight moisturizer. And ooh, looks really nice on the back of my hand. Has a slight, maybe rose scent to it. Yeah, it feels really, really good. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that. Warm this up to my hands and then, I already applied my skincare this morning. I'm just gonna apply this on top. Okay, I don't notice anything different. Um, honestly, it just feels like a moisturizer. And while I'm not a fan of fragrance, the scent is actually really nice. Like I actually quite enjoy it. it kind of adds to the whole experience. But yeah, I don't notice a difference really. Again, it just kind of feels like a lightweight moisturizer. So this might be a good product for those of you who kind of want like a priming moisturizer. Um, something that you can kind of remove your moisturizer step and just do that as you kind of your primer and your moisturizer together. I don't know. We'll see how the foundation wears on top. Um, but yeah, overall a nice experience. Um, maybe a tiny bit of tackiness, um, but nothing too oily, too glowy. And when I was looking at the ingredients, I did not notice any coconut oil in there, which is nice as well. All right, so this is not a new product. I've Well, it's relatively new, but I've used this a few times on my channel already. You know that I really enjoy this. This is their Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. Um, and with this foundation, I find that less is more. I find that when you start to layer it and apply too much, it gets a little heavy. So my recommendation is to use this in a very light layer and I think it just looks so much more beautiful that way. So I have the shade 33. Like I mentioned in my last video, the shade is too light for me. So I'm gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand. That's what 33 looks like. And then instead of using my DeBronzy, which is what I used in my last video, cause that was not dark enough. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of my Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover Foundation in the shade N09 and just add a tiny bit of that. All right, that is a better shade match. Still not spot on, but it'll work. And then I also have their sponge that's supposed to go with the foundation. I have used this sponge before. It's not my favorite. I don't know, maybe it's just the size. It's just really small and it's a little bit more, um, what's the word, kind of stiff. Um, I definitely prefer my little cheap $1 sponges on Amazon. Um, yeah, it's just not my favorite sponge. 
but it definitely works, definitely gets the job done. I will say the Danessa Myricks foundation did change the kind of overall look of this foundation and definitely added more coverage. But I will say these two combined look stunning. Oh my gosh. That looks flawless. It just kind of bumped up the coverage of the RMS foundation. So I don't own the RMS concealer because it contains coconut oil. My skin is a little sensitive to it, doesn't really react well to coconut oil very well. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of my hourglass concealer just on the under eyes. Um, Cause honestly, this little foundation concoction that I made is pretty full coverage. I don't feel like I need coverage anywhere else. So I'm gonna take that same sponge, just blend that out. So I do not have the RMS powder. However, that used to be one of my favorite powders of all time. It's their uh, unpowder. Uh, the translucent one is the one that I loved. It is so good. So I highly, highly recommend that powder. I used one up completely. Didn't end up. It didn't end up repurchasing it at the time. Um, but yeah, it is so good. Actually, reminds me a lot of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD loose setting powder. So that is definitely, definitely one of my favorite products from RMS. But for today, I'm just gonna take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD loose setting powder in the shade Translucent. So for a little bit of glow, I'm gonna take their Master Radiance Base. This is in the shade Rich in Radiance. I think they have one other shade that's a little bit deeper or lighter, I can't remember. But this is what it looks like. I, again, another one of my favorite products from RMS. This is so, so pretty. I much prefer this over their uh, Living Luminizer and Magic Luminizer. Um, they're kind of more creamy potted highlighters. I prefer this. This is like, well, first of all, the texture is very different. It's more of like this whipped texture, um, but it just has, it gives the skin such a beautiful, glossiness. I found that Living Luminizer and Magic Luminizer, while they looked pretty, they didn't last very long and they were too silvery on my skin tone. That's why I really like this one. It has more of that kind of beige um, undertone to it. It's so, so pretty. So I'm actually just going to take this with my finger and that on the high points. I also really, really, really like their powder highlighters. I used to have Midnight Hour. I actually had two of them, used up both of them, uh, which is insane, the fact that I used up two full-size highlighters, powder highlighters. Um, but yeah, I don't have those anymore. But if you don't like cream highlighters, those are amazing. And Magic Hour, or Midnight Hour was my favorite. So I actually don't have a bronzer from them either. I used to have their bronzer, for the life of me, I cannot remember the name of it. Wasn't my favorite. It had a very interesting undertone to it that was not my favorite. It, it's like this red undertone, but it also had like this coolness to it. I don't know, I could never really make it work for my skin tone. So I decluttered that, I don't have their bronzer anymore. So we're just gonna go straight into blush and we're just gonna skip bronzer. Um, I used to have their Buriti bronzer as well, which is their cream bronzer. Wasn't a fan of that either. I just found that that formula just did not last on my skin. It just didn't wear well. And a lot of the times the bronzer never really showed up on my skin anyway. So yeah, wasn't a huge fan of the bronzers, but we're gonna go and dip into the blushes. These are their new Redimension Hydra Powder blushes. I have, I think I have all the shades. I have five here, three of them are in the compact and then I'll show you what they look like if you just buy the refills. All right, so this is the shade French Rosé. I love the imprint that they have on here. It's so, so pretty. All right, then we have the shade Sangria, which is this gorgeous kind of more terracotta orangey peach. This is the one that caught my eye immediately. 
This is the shade Maiden's Blush. I believe this one is currently sold out. Um, but oh my gosh, this looks so stunning. I love a good bronzy blush. So I'll of course show you swatches in just a second. I'm gonna swatch them all on my hand and then I'll show you what they all look like uh, next to each other. So when you buy the refill, this is what it looks like. It comes in this little um, paper container. It's got a little piece of plastic on there. Oh, this is the shade Mai Tai. Again, another kind of more coral peachy tone. And then the last shade I have is Hanky Panky. <laughs> oh, I love these names. All right, and that's what she looks like. Wow, stunning. Oh my gosh, it's almost like an eggplant purple or something. All right, so this is all of them swatched. We have French Rosé, Sangria, Maiden's Tail, uh, Maiden's Blush. I said Maiden's Tail. We have Mai Tai and then Hanky Panky. So those are all the shades. So pretty. They definitely have a creaminess to the touch. They are a powder formula, but I definitely think that the Hydra powder name really describes how they feel. They're really, really pretty. Uh, really cool texture. So I'm gonna go in with Maiden's Blush because this one is just speaking to my soul. And I'm gonna take it with their brush. This is... There's no name on it, I'll link it below, but it's the brush that you're supposed to use with the blushes. And since we didn't do bronzer today, we'll kind of use this as like a blush bronzer hybrid. All right, so that is Maiden's Blush. Really, really pretty. This is definitely one of those kind of blushes that you can use, at least on my skin tone, use as like a blush bronzer hybrid, which is my favorite thing to do. You'll know how much I love my Bare Minerals Kiss of Copper bronzer because I use it as a blush and a bronzer. So these are pretty glowy. You definitely don't need highlighter with these. I feel like they give a lot of glow to the skin. So just for kicks, I want to take a little bit of French Rosé, this really kind of more bright pink shade. I want to take a little bit of that just right on the apples. Why not? I actually really like this brush too. A little on the nose. Stunning, love it. Okay, and then I actually am gonna take a little bit of this blush on my eyelids as well, because I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow. When I moved, I actually decluttered all of my eye polishes. I know, I know. I love their eye polishes. They're some of my favorite cream eyeshadow form, uh, cream eyeshadows, but mine were so old and expired and uh, they were starting to look it. So I had to declutter all of them, but if you need a really good cream eyeshadow, RMS makes beautiful cream eyeshadows. They do crease, they don't set down, like they're very emollient coconut oil based cream eyeshadow but they're stunning if you love just that wet, glossy look on the eyes. Pretty, very fresh. Wow, I really like these blushes. I think when I use them again in the future, I'm not going to use a, uh, a highlighter with them because they're already really, really glowy. So I do not have their mascara, so I'm going to curl my lashes apply mascara. I did declutter their mascara. It just did not work for my lashes. It did not hold a curl. I just was not a fan of the mascara. So I did declutter that. So I'm going to do mascara off camera. And then really quickly, I wanted to mention, I already did my brows off camera and I've been using their back to brow powder. This is an old favorite. I've had this for a long time, as you can see, but this is amazing. If you just need a really good brow powder, this is so good. I love this color, it's a nice, very cool toned, almost like charcoal brown, and it's perfect for the brows. So I love this, I've been using this for years, it's one of my favorites. So I'm gonna do my lashes and then I'll be right back. All right, so I did some mascara and I also wanted to do a little bit of liner, just tight lined right in my upper waterline. So I'm gonna take the RMS Straight line coal eye pencil. I actually love, 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 love this. 
Um, it's super creamy, really black, and it's really great if you like to do like smudgy liner, really sooty, smoky liner. This is really, really good. And it works well on the waterline and on the eyelid. So I'm just going to tightline my waterline just to make my lashes look a little more full. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything else. I'm not gonna do anything on the eyelids. And then I actually don't have any lip products from RMS. So I'm gonna do just a little gloss and lip liner. I'm gonna take my Beauty Pie lip pencil uh, in the shade Foxy, I believe. Make sure I have the name right. Yes, Foxy. All right, and then I'm gonna take my Dior Lip Glow Oil in the shade Pink. All right, guys, so that is the makeup for today. Very simple, very easy, very boring. But I just was really excited to try out those RMS blushes. I love them so far. I think they look so gorgeous. They're definitely on the glowy side, so you could probably skip highlighter if you don't like too much glow on the skin and just go in with that because they have quite a bit of glow to them. And then I will keep playing with the primer. Um, I didn't notice a difference in my skin. So um, this is something that I'll have to kind of play with long term and uh, keep you updated on. Yeah, this is a really fun look to create. I'm ready for work today. I've got a, I've got such a busy day. Like I even missed kickboxing this morning because I was so stressed last night. Couldn't sleep because I knew how much stuff I had to get done today and I'm still stressed. <laughs> So I'll have to go to the gym later, but yeah, I have so much stuff to do today and I love the way that my makeup looks. I feel like it's going to stay in place all day, so we should be good, but thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. As always, remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. You are